everyone. Today, I have a Trunk Club unboxing. Um, I've only had two Trunk Clubs. This box is the biggest one I've ever had. I think because there's shoes in there. So, Trunk Club. I don't know if I like Trunk Club or Stitch Fix better. Sometimes I like Stitch Fix better. Sometimes I like Trunk Club better. Um, it, it honestly just kind of depends on what they send. So, we're going to go ahead and unbox this. If you like unboxing videos, please subscribe to my channel and like my video. Also, if you've never used Trunk Club before and you want to try it out, I do have a $50 referral credit under in the comments, not in the comments, underneath the video, where if you decide to try it, you get $50 and I get $50. So Now, I already know what's inside this box because they send you a preview of what you're getting and you can get rid of things and you can add things to the preview, which is fun. Because I, I know people can do that with Stitch Fix, but I haven't actually been able to do that on mine yet. Okay, so this is fun. It came with the coat hanger. So I got this black, it's black and purple. I mean, it's, a, I don't know, it's okay. It's from Lucky Brand, um, size medium. And it's weird, I feel like they send me all different sizes, like, in my styling profile, um, I have a size large for tops and a size 31 for pants. And they send me all different sizes. I forgot about this, so I'm going to go back real quick. Um, they leave you a note like Stitch Fix does. Um, Hi, Melissa. I had so much fun adding items to the trunk and loved the helpful feedback you provided. We love challenging you to step outside your comfort zone a bit and try things you might not have chosen on your own. Check out the outfits we put together for added inspiration. They do always um, put together outfits so you can kind of see how to put your clothes together. Or, I mean, give you ideas of how to put your clothes together. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, I kind of think this is more of a generic note but and then they give you you know your return label and all that stuff in here okay anyways back to what's inside the box because that's the fun part um i got these jeans these are wit and wisdom they're a size 12 it looks like they're kind of a skinny jean now i've learned that nornstrom's wit and wisdom is the same as democracy and it has that stretchy waistband that's super comfortable. I have a pair of Democracy or Wit and Wisdom boot cut jeans that I wear all the time. So I like these. I mean, the color's okay. Not super excited. We'll see though. It might look better on. It might actually look good with that black shirt. And then I requested this Notori It's a t shirt bra, um, 38C. And the reason I requested this is because when I was visiting my daughter in San Francisco, we went to the most amazing Nordstrom, of course, because it's in San Francisco, and I had a bra fitting, and that was one of the bras I got from the lady who fitted me and who did an amazing job, and it is the most comfortable bra I've ever worn in my life. So I wanted to get another one of those. Now, this is weird. Um, huh. I got this Sweaty Betty tank. But that is not supposed to be in my box, and it is not on my invoice. So, I mean, this would be great for working out. Cool. It's weird though. I don't. I don't know what that's about. This is a cotton seamless um, cami, like a layering piece. I asked for something like this because I have so many um, v-necks and when I teach I feel like I want just like a little bit more coverage especially when I'm bending over tables <laughs> okay this I have a shirt just like this this is from Madewell and it's really cute I like it um, but I also have one oh it's cute I don't know I might keep this one too it's really cute I like the square neck but I have one that's white and then it has this like little um, triangular geometric design there. But I don't know, it's an interesting color. So I'll try this on. 
see what I think. Okay, <laughs> these pants, I mean, maybe I should be talking about prices. I'm gonna talk about prices on these pants. These are a pair of, um, I wanna call them denim. They feel like denim. They feel super soft. They feel super comfortable. They're by the brand Page. They're a size 32, which I don't know, that's pretty big. And they're $209. So I'm actually hoping that I don't fall in love with these because that's a, that's a, that's a lot for a pair of jeans. But I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I do things like spend $209 on a pair of jeans though. It could happen. Um, next are these cut from the cloth denim shorts let's see they are a size they're a size 12 and these are $59 so these are cute I like these um, it's August here in the desert which means it's still crazy hot so we're still wearing shorts here um, I have this bracelet which I mean I don't, <laughs> I don't really wear bracelets it's cute though. Is it focusing? I don't know. I mean, it's cute, but I just don't really wear bracelets because they would get paint and clay and all kinds of icky stuff on them. But this was, how much is this? I don't know. It's hard to look at this invoice. $38. $38 for the bracelet. And I got a pair of shoes, which I am excited about these shoes. I have been contemplating like a white pair of tennis shoes because I think they look really cute. Um, but I'm scared to wear white shoes. So there's my dog. She's barking. They're Uggs. They feel like, well, let me hold up the other one. They feel super comfortable um I just don't know if I can do white sh I mean these are, these are white like as soon as a kid steps on my foot which you know happens when you're teaching elementary school they have like no awareness and they just step on your feet um I don't know so I'll think about that okay I'm gonna go try all this stuff on oh Okay, before I do that, I was supposed to get this really cute Mila puff sleeve ruffle midi dress, and I did not. So there must have been a mix up with that sweaty Betty tank and the green dress, which is kind of a bummer because I was really looking forward to trying on that green dress. But I will email Trump Club and see what happens there. Okay, be back with the first outfit. So the first thing I put on were these green pants. I'm gonna slide this over which are amazing but they they're they're huge like I think I could size down one if not two sizes just because there's a ton of room but I absolutely love them um but they're just they're they're too big and I already checked the Nordstrom site and I can't exchange them. So um, I guess that's, I keep messing with this. I guess that's good because they're $209, so um, I don't have to worry about spending that much on pants, but there's just, I mean, I like loose clothes, but this, these would be falling down all day. Okay. All right, next up I have, I'm, I'm gonna read my sheet now. I have the Lucky Brand top um this was 59.50 and i have those gray wit and wisdom pants for 68 dollars and uh no i mean the shirt i hate where the sleeve cuts my arm um it's banded at the bottom which i like i and i also put on the blue blue the black v-neck 
cami, which I do like this, but here's the thing. This was, let me find it. $64. And it just, I mean, it's, it's nice. It just doesn't really feel like $64 special. And even looking at these jeans, I feel like these are the most unflattering jeans. Like I'm even kind of embarrassed to be showing you, but you guys so far have all been really nice in my last video. So I feel like I can show you the most unflattering jeans I've ever put on my body. So we're going to stop here. Both of these are a no. Okay, so the next outfit, um, this shirt is kind of cute. And then I have the cut from the cloth shorts. So I think maybe like a little bit of a front, front, front tuck here. That looks a little bit better. So, I mean, I think that I like this outfit here. I'm just, I'm not super sure about the color of the shirt. It's kind of like this, um, it's not yellow and it's not green. It's somewhere in between yellow, it's yellow green. So I don't know. Please let me know what you think about the shirt and the color. I don't know if it looks okay with my skin. Um, the shorts are super comfortable. They're not too short. Um, unlike those white shorts from my last stitch fix that were super short. And now the shoes, um, they're, they're too big, but I could exchange them. But even like, I just don't think that I can wear white shoes ever and be comfortable with it. So this, I don't know, this trunk is, hasn't been spectacular. I mean, I think. I think I like the shirt and I think I like the shorts, um, but the shoes, I don't know. Does anybody wear white shoes? How do you keep them clean? Do your kids step on them if you have kids? These are things I wonder about white shoes. <sighs> Let me know. The last thing is the Sweaty Betty tank. Um, I put it on with a sports bra and it's fine. I just... I don't usually work out in tank tops. I work out in t-shirts and it's just, I don't know, it's not something I really need at the moment. So this is a tricky trunk club. I'm not sure what to do about this, but I'll do a recap. I'm gonna think about it for a minute, try and figure it out. Let's recap this box. Um, I don't know. I wasn't really thrilled with anything. Um, and before I do these, I always like to give myself a budget for this box because I feel like Trunk Club, um, I can go over my budget really easily because they do send a lot of things. So I was thinking my budget for this box would be around $300. Um, this I didn't even try on because I'm just, I know I'm not going to wear it. So that was a no. This Lucky brand top here, I didn't like it. So that's a no. It's pretty easy. I'm going to save a lot of money on this box. This sweaty Betty top. Um, it was fine. It's just, I don't, it's not really something I need. And again, I like to work out in short sleeves more than tank tops. So this cami, um, it's super nice. It's super soft. It fits really well. It's just kind of expensive for a cami. It's $64. So um, I'm on the fence about this. So I'm going to put this in my on the fence pile. Another one I'm on the fence about. Um, my daughter, I showed it to her. She loves it. My boyfriend, he said it looked like it was made out of my grandma's curtains. Um, and he said the color was not good. So I don't know. I still think, I don't know, on the fence, maybe. And usually my rule is I have to absolutely love it before I keep anything. Otherwise, I'm going to have a closet full of mediocre clothes, which I don't want that. Like I have to really love it to keep it. These shorts, um, I really liked them. I don't know. Maybe I might keep them. Add it up. I don't know. I might just get a new box instead. Now, these, the green pants, the super expensive $209 pants, 
that are so soft and comfortable that don't fit, I'm going to have to send them back, um, even though I did love them. But unfortunately, they're going back. Oh, no. What's happening? Um, I just messed up my lighting. I don't know if you can tell that I did that, but I can certainly tell. I can't see anything. Okay, now I can see things again. It's probably because I'm stacking everything on top of the computer, so let me put it over here on my bed. That's my daughter's bed when she decides to come visit me from San Francisco, which she hardly ever does. Did you hear that, Alana? I love you. <laughs> um, here, these were just, I think it was the color. Like, they fit fine, but <laughs> no. And then the bra, I'm going to keep because I have one like this and I love it. So this is expensive. This is $72, I think, by itself. So, I mean, that is... Yeah, it's 72 worth every penny. I, like, I feel like I'm not even wearing a bra, which is amazing because I am wearing a bra, but it doesn't feel like it. Um, and these shoes, ultimately, I, I think they're really cute. I like them a lot. I can't do it. I can't do the white shoes. So I'm going to send these back. Um, and then I need to try and figure out what happened with the green dress and the sweaty Betty top, but... I don't know so we'll see um if you have any opinions on any of it please leave me a comment it's fun reading those um and that's it until the next box i think i'm gonna order either a transcend or a wantable i haven't had either one of those but i want to try them okay thank you for watching